At its heart, writing is all about the transmission and storage of information. Words allow ideas to endure through time. These are some of the earliest texts in existence, and they give us an incredible insight into the development of writing. I've come to meet one of the few people who can still read them, Dr. Irving Finkel. We take writing so much for granted these days that I guess it's easy to forget that it was invented. It certainly was. How did it first come about? The earliest writing that we have is written on clay tablets and it comes from Iraq, ancient Mesopotamia, and it comes from the culture of the Sumerians. And what happened here was that they started off with purely pictographic signs to express an idea. And this lasted for quite a long time until it occurred to somebody, perhaps accidentally, that what you could do is to make one of these graphic symbols on the surface of the clay, not for what it looked like, but for what the sound it represented. Right. So, so not a picture of an object, a picture of a sound. That's what we always call the giant leap for mankind. By combining different sounding pictures, the ancient Mesopotamians could express any idea imaginable. The essence of their breakthrough was to see, for example, that a picture of an eye and a picture of a deer didn't have to mean an eye and a deer. The pictures could be used simply for the sounds they made, in this case, idea. Once this system was discovered, it meant anything that could be spoken, even the most strange or abstract thoughts, could be transformed into symbols. Information could now live outside of the human brain. And this meant it could endure over vast spans of time. This lovely tablet here, um, this king, Orinam, who lived in about uh, 2100 BC, okay? He buried this in the foundations of this temple as a message for the future. This king, or Namu, the powerful male, king of Ur, king of Sumer and Akkad, so that's the south and the north part of ancient Mesopotamia, her house he built for her and he even restored it afterwards. So this is a proud thing and he wants everybody to know about it and this is a real message for the future. What's so remarkable for me is that this is information stored on clay for thousands of years. Yes. Ideas that someone had 4,000 years ago are still there. You have ideas, you have speech, you have human hopes, you have literature, you have prayers, you have all these sorts of outpourings of the human soul fixed forever in clay. By turning sounds into symbols, the Mesopotamian scribes had discovered that information could be changed very easily from one form to another. From something that existed as spoken sounds to something that existed as symbols on clay tablets.